Hello everyone, we are today exploring and discovering and checking another beautiful structure here in Hangzhou. This is the natatorium of Hangzhou that is going to be ready very soon for the Asian Games that will be celebrated here next year. 2022 will be the year for the next Asian Games. So today we're going to be checking a few of the venues that will be ready for this uh, upcoming event. This is the natatorium, as you can see, it's a huge one and massive structure. One of the things that I love about these kind of structures is how well made they are. You can tell the quality of the building, the technologies they're using for the swimming pool, for the benches, for the roof, for the lining. Everything is well made, everything's super high quality. And that is something that you can you can feel, that you can see. When China makes these kind of structures, not only for a few years, they're preparing and getting ready this kind of structure for the future. Uh, they're planning to hold more international events that will be held here in this kind of structure in the next few years. When they plan and they build this kind of structure, they want to use the best materials, the best designers, the best of the best. And this is something that you can tell when you come to um, this place. I really enjoy coming and visit these kind of places because they are like beautiful architect achievements. So as only the Chinese people can make these kind of structures, it's huge and beautiful, that will be ready uh, very soon. You can tell it's like brand new, very massive, huge one. We're gonna be checking a couple more uh, structures like this. This area has a few more stadiums. I remember during my first visit to this city, I was also checking another huge, a beautiful stadium that was built recently here in in Hangzhou. So I believe we're gonna go there as well later today. Remember also China recently has been the host of many huge international important Olympic events like the Winter Olympic Games that will be celebrated also next year uh, in Beijing and then uh, around September of next year will be also the Asian Games here in Hangzhou. I really never get enough of these places, how well designed and how beautiful they are. It's a pity it's raining because I cannot go outside or fly the drone, but these structures are very, very beautiful, like so well designed, so well constructed. Actually, this reminds me a little bit of the Shenzhen Stadium. It kind of have the same like uh, central plaza square in the middle with this uh, structure is coming from the middle all the way to the top but it's connected covering the whole stadium so it's quite similar but still in a very uh, unique way I don't think that they have held any event here like a major sport event in this stadium because they're preparing the whole thing for the Asian Games in 2022 so I'm gonna keep going around and checking showing you guys the beauty of these brand new structures the beauty of the Chinese architecture and the Chinese design that is being displayed right now here All this area, you, you will find all the different stadiums and the different venues for the Asian Games in 2022. So I think we're gonna visit a couple more. This is actually the area that I visited a year ago and that is a stadium that I came to, to take a look and actually I flew my drone around I can uh, show you some footage about that place because I found it very beautiful and uh, like a really awesome structure and just to show you an example of the Chinese speed that I'm talking about in all my videos 
When I came here last year to fly a drone around that area, this building behind me was not there. Those are like brand new structures. They're still yet to be completed. But the incredible part is like in a year or less than a year, they're just achieving a new uh, building, high rise building over there in this area. I think this is probably going to be one of the most exclusive areas soon here in the city of Hanjo. And this is another of the venues that is about to get ready it's in the same complex right next to the natatorium. It's the same structure actually, it's just divided by like two different uh, areas. And in the middle, the court is set to be a basketball court and a nice ring. So it could be a multi-sports venue. It's a facility that could be easily converted and host thousands of people and spectators. In the middle, they're still working, of course, they're still uh, trying to get it ready, but I think they're really well prepared ahead of time. You can see most of the structure, most of the venue is completed. The lining, the seats, the, even the LED stripes, things around the building, the screens on the top. I think it's just in the middle, that area is the only part that it needs to be finished. But I think it's just a matter of perhaps weeks until this facility is 100% completed and open to maybe hold some practices and hold some events here. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching, stay safe until next time.